Joseph Beret's statement was very strong on sentiment, where he said that the EU doesn't recognise the so-called inauguration of Lukashenko that took place yesterday. He said it was in direct conflict to the clear will of the Belarusian people who have been protesting for several weeks now. Uh, the EU, as we know, does want to impose sanctions against uh, 40 individuals in Belarus. Uh, they want to impose sanctions, including uh, freezing assets and travel bans on those people. But they haven't been able to do so because one member state, Cyprus, has been blocking the issue. Cyprus is blocking the issue for something completely separate in relation to its conflict with Turkey in the eastern Mediterranean, even though Cyprus itself says it actually supports the sanctions. But at the same time, unless the EU can get this issue sorted and within a quick moment of time, within the next couple of weeks now, the EU's position on this, its credibility on this, is very much weakened. I mean, Brussels says it very much supports the opposition. Svetlana Tihanovskaya, the leader of the opposition, was here in Brussels on Monday. Uh, and the EU really wants to make sure that this issue is sorted and that the EU can, see, can show that it has some ge geopolitical prowess. But of course, Brussels has to tread carefully because we know that uh, when you look at the upheavals in places like Ukraine, they, they precipitated uh, military action from Russia. So there's still always concern around that, Tokes. But certainly strong sentiment, but no action yet from Brussels.